Hi, everybody, and welcome to Workplace Wednesday here on SecurityGuyNews.com. Chuck Harold, Sean Aarons, where we give you information you can use or not use about workplace issues involving your safety and security. So, Mr. Sean uh, of AEI, you have bumbled upon a fairly remarkable, and I'm, not, I'm going to use that word very specifically, remarkable solution uh, in case there's a person uh, in your workplace that wants to stab you. And what have you found? Uh, so really interesting. So I'm, we know across the pond there are uh, significant more dangers around stabbings than true. You know, weapons. It's firearms. a real problem, Just, right? Yeah. Right. So, and and we've also seen that here in the U.S. of late. You know, we've seen an increase in bladed weapons. Uh, and so, what's interesting to me is the knee-jerk reaction. So here in the United States, we describe everything as active shooter, right? Where other uh, implements could be used of violence, right? But over in the UK, they have a knee-jerk reaction to bladed weapons, and they ultimately are looking at this kind of product to kind of, so, you know, help them manage that type of crisis by keeping people safe. So it's interesting. It's essentially a blade vest. So it, essentially, I guess, during this type of incident, you would acquire one of these vests, you would place it over yourself and then you know it's bright it's brightly colored so it's like a neon color on it and you would then i guess leave the facility with confidence that if you were to come across someone with a bladed weapon they would not be able to uh stab you or injure you um but i wanted to kind of throw it out to you chuck because i found some you know some interest interesting concepts to this kind of approach that really kind of fall into that knee-jerk reaction that I think we should need to discuss. Well, uh, you can try and keep a straight face during this, but I, I just can't, okay? So first of all, so everybody knows, a traditional bulletproof vest will not stop a knife. So kudos to this company that are trying to come up with a solution. Uh, however, let's <laughs> let's take a look at this, and uh, I'll just put my uh, slightly unbiased comments uh, over the photos we're looking at. So this is called emergency body armor, and it's a very bright yellow you know, flashy looking uh, vest, which I suppose would uh, let the terrorist with the knife know that I better stab you in the head. That's my first impression. <laughs> okay. Because if you got this vest on, obviously I don't want to hit those points. I want to hit your head or your arm or sever your art, carotid artery or something. So there's a little bit of a downside to that, uh, <laughs> to that view right there. Now, here's how the thing works. Apparently, these are located at workstations throughout your, your office. And there's one here in this photo. This is off their website, by the way. And I'm not looking, Sean, at that photo as if there's 25 vests right there, right? It does look like there's a whole no. bunch of vests. So apparently only one person is able to grab a vest and be saved or become a giant target. I'm not really sure which yes. one. Uh, but uh, the receptionist, whoever sitting at this desk, go ahead. The receptionist would have to pause the attack. You know, you'd have to say time out. That's right. And, That's right. But of course, they have a solution. Put, no, on, not, put on the vest. You're being cynical, Sean. You're being cynical because they have a solution for that. And how it works is this. You grab the vest off the wall like you're grabbing a fire extinguisher. And then you follow these easy to install <laughs> instructions where you pick it up and you open it up and you put it on. And all they don't have is a little thing to blow it up like you do on the airplane, right? Like a, inflate it with your with your valve here. And then after you do that, apparently, what you're supposed to do, <laughs> I can't, I can't stop laughing. Am I, am I wrong to laugh at this? I, I find it interesting that they had the fire extinguisher because I don't know if you remember from the early DHS videos, they were actually using the fire extinguisher to hit people over the head with it. That's and a good idea. It's like, that, well, that's a great that's idea. a good idea, but a better idea would be to use the fire extinguisher to obscure their vision. Correct, which so is what we train for. Yeah, I train my guards right, for that. Grab right. that thing and squirt the guy with it. So after you put yeah. this thing on, apparently the last step off their website is you're supposed to try and stab yourself, <laughs> apparently based on this photo here, and uh, test it to make sure it's right. Now, what is wrong with this, Sean? Let's, let's talk about all the things wrong with it because there's a lot of things wrong with it. A, your safety is based on not fortification. Your safety is based on time, all right? So their knee-jerk reaction right. is, let's fortify the human being with a vest 
You're not putting you in a, a boy in a plastic armored bubble so he can't get to you. You're just putting a big right yellow target on you that says, don't stab me here, stab me in the head. All right? It takes time to put the thing on when you should be getting your ass out of the building. Right? So now, is it run, hide, put the vest on, and then fight, or put the vest on, run, hide, or what? I mean, this is kind of the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Am I being cynical? I, I think, I, I think that I think there's some interesting components to it. So one, I think one of the components around this is that it potentially has impacts to all the policies and procedures out there. I I do know that some organizations in the UK have adopted the run hide fight um, or the ABC program that uh, we're now using here in the US. And I think the other aspect is is that you know where do we get these pieces of equipment? Are they in a sheltered location? I mean, they're kind of having it identified at a receptionist desk, you know, maybe available for all employees. I, is it a shelter and shelter type of application where you, you can't get out of the building, you put this on as, you know, additional. So I think there's some ramp, ramifications for policies. I certainly, in this type of an event, if there was a person armed with a blade or what have you, I wouldn't take the time to run out of the, put this on and run out of the building. I would probably only use this in a sheltered type of application. Well, so uh, I think like an evil genius. Here's the first thing I do. I'd stab a bunch of people. I grab one of these vests and put it on and walk out the building. I'm not the bad guy. I'm obviously yeah. got a, right? I mean, yeah. see? So that, they, yeah, that makes really, really good sense because yeah. law enforcement probably, that's why it's neon, right? They're trying to right. indicate you're a civilian, right? And I, that's one of the things that I kind of cued on as well. Yeah. I, a nice try, fellas, but I'm afraid it does not pass the Security Guy TV and Security Guy News criteria for having a safe workplace here on Workplace Wednesday. Tune in next, work, tune in next Wednesday for another Workplace Wednesday Solution uh, right here on securityguynews.com. I got to get all my security guy things straight, Sean. I got to work on that. Yes. You have many. <laughs> I do. All right. We'll see you uh, next time. Thanks for listening. All right. Talk care.